Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, so I got a negative feedback. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this process. So the first thing is, it is global shipping program. So they are saying that the item was not delivered and I'm gonna elaborate on that. I've got some tabs pulled up to show you guys. But with global shipping program, and really any transaction, if the tracking shows that the item was delivered, you will be protected, all right? So that's not really what we're dealing with here. They didn't open a return, they didn't open a claim. What they are saying is you get negative feedback because my item wasn't there when I went to pick it up. So let me show you, show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so I've got my screen share up. Um, I am on my feedback profile. So this is what I just opened. Let me make sure. Yeah, I just opened up my feedback. I did zoom in to crop out the user because it's not relevant. It's not important. Um, I'm not here to make anybody feel shamed. I just want to educate you guys on what to do in this situation. It says, didn't receive the package and sent a picture showing that there was a box in the mailroom but why it was left there. And when I checked the mail room, I didn't see any package for me. Okay. Here is the item. And by the way, if you don't know, this is a nice little bolo. I just want to let you know, since my channel is mostly about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high, I'm gonna share with you that this item is a bolo. I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. Now it is kind of heavy, so I probably, I'm gonna guess it's $1.79 a pound, maybe between six and $7 for this, seven on the high end, but definitely work, worth it. This is the third one I have sold, and I currently have another one listed, but um, they sell pretty quickly, and definitely an item that I look for and get excited when I find, because you can usually source them pretty cheap. I have picked them up at garage sales also. So be on the lookout for this Coda Pillar. This one sold for $40 plus shipping. Now they do have um, links, and depending on the amount of links, of course, if there's more, you can get more for your item. If you just find the links, you can also sell those separately. You could probably sell them individually if you wanted to, but as a complete item, it's probably best. Now, what I do is I do a video of the item working and I put that in my eBay listing. So if you wanna see me sourcing this at the Goodwill bins, you can go check out this video right here. And I found some really cool stuff that day, so definitely a super fun video. I will link it down in the description. And be sure to watch my channel for other bolo items. Again, that is what my channel is all about. I do pop in some educational things like this from time to time in for situations that I get into just to help everybody learn, but I mainly focus on bolos. All right, let's continue with the tutorial here of how I got this negative feedback removed. Hello? Uh, I think this one sold for $40 plus shipping. All right, so here's the tracking. You can see it's got USPS tracking. So I sent this to Kentucky first, and then Kentucky will then forward it to this one. Looks like it's um, Canada. And you can see that the item was delivered on April 11th at 1.32 a.m. I don't know what time that is there. I'm guessing that's my time because that's a weird time for delivery. All right, so let's go over to the message from the buyer. Hi, sir. I didn't receive my package when I received a photo for a box in the mailroom, but it doesn't show if it's mine or not. And when I went down to see if there was a package, no package there. So it looks like at this post office, they just sit the packages on the bench. So what I'm guessing happened is somebody grabbed their package by accident. Because you can see in photo one, this right here is my package. I packaged this in a USPS shoebox, so I know that's it. And if you look at photo two, it's not there. But 
really, if you think about it, all they would have to do is take the box and remove it from the picture and take a second picture. I'm not saying that's what they did, but this really means nothing to me. I mean, it shows delivered. I can't do anything about it at this point in time. So that was my response to them. I said, please reach out to your postal um, office and talk to them about this. Show them the photos. See if they can locate your package. Maybe somebody grabbed the wrong package and it has been returned. It may be there now. Something like that along those lines. That would be my suggestion. Um, no communication back. They just ended up leaving me the negative feedback. So what am I going to do now? I thought that I would show you guys exactly what I am going to do. I am going to go over to seller help right here on the right hand side. I am going to click on that and it says request to remove feedback. Um, here's the, okay. So request to move. I'm going to, okay. So now I'm going to click on request to remove. You feel someone has left you improper feedback you can send us a request to have it removed we'll look into it and remove anything that doesn't follow our policy so in my opinion this should be removable because they're saying they didn't receive their package but i'm showing that it was delivered so profane and inappropriate remarks personal information included doesn't follow ebay policies manipulation extortion related to a case that resolved in my favor or another reason outside my control so really mine doesn't fall into any of those categories. So I'm really, really hoping that eBay takes a minute to look at this before they just close it out saying that I'm wrong. So I'm going to go with other reason. Um, item was shipped DSP and shows delivered. Ire sent me a message saying that they sent them a picture of the item and when they went to pick it up it was not there i advised them that tracking shows delivered and to reach out to their postal or post office. Okay, let me make sure I've got everything. Item with ship global shipping program and shows delivered. Um, feedback is not accurate and I am requesting removal. All right, so I'm gonna hit send request. The last time I did this, <clears throat> I heard back from eBay in about 10 minutes and that um, was removed. It was removed. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get a quick response and that is how you do it. It's super, super easy. Um, let's say, this was a feedback and the buyer opened a return and it was a false claim. One thing that you always want to do is go in and report the buyer. Um, so if somebody says that the item was not as described and it was, you can report the buyer. <clears throat> Excuse me. So make sure you do that. That gives eBay a record of that buyer's habits. And if they continue to get reports on the buyer, they will um, look into it and they actually do look into it. Also block the buyer. In this situation, I'm not gonna block the buyer. I do feel like they shouldn't have left me negative feedback that wasn't deserved. But at the same time, they're probably just frustrated that their package got stolen. I get that, but it's not my fault. It shows delivered. They only have 40 feedback, so I'm guessing they really don't know proper etiquette for eBay. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I did. Let me know in the comments what you would have done if you knew about that seller help remove feedback area. I've done a video on it before, but you may have missed it. This is what it looks like. So go check that out. It's a little more detailed. Okay, so I closed out my screen and I should have just left it open because they responded in like less than three minutes. So let me show you their response. 
right here it is. Thanks for contacting us about the feedback you received. Um, we've removed the feedback as it does qualify under our removal policies. Please allow up to 72 hours for it to be removed from the feedback page and thanks for your patience. In the meantime, the ratings you received for this transaction have also been removed and your scores will automatically or will be automatically recalculated. Please note that while this may happen within the same day, in some cases it can take up to 72 hours for these ratings to disappear. Thanks for your patience in the meantime. We wish you all the best in the future. Thanks, eBay. And it used to have a negative right here, and that is gone. Let's look at my other negative while we're on here. So you ready? The left-hand shoe came with the wrong piece of leather strip and buckle that goes around your ankle. So both shoes end up having the buckle on the right-hand side. It is supposed to be the left shoe that has a buckle on the outside, left side and the right shoe has the buckle on the right inside outside i took it apart and reinserted the leather strip on the left shoe but what happens is the buckle ends up being upside down on the left shoe the issue you gave me the wrong left shoe buckle okay so um i purchased all of these from david's bridal it's a website i was doing some retail arbitrage i bought probably 50 pairs of these. I'm trying to figure out this. All right, so let's look at it. Here's the shoes. Here is the buckle. I'm trying to think if you flip that upside down, what on earth they're talking about? How, what are they talking about? Number one, they could pull that out and reinsert it. So anyway, I'm not even following their comment. Um, I don't understand it. I have sold a bunch of these with zero complaints, but I feel like eBay should protect us in situations like this. Number two, they could have opened a return and returned the item and I had another one that I could have sent them a replacement. So I don't know if this was a situation where the buyer was trying to complain about something, hoping that I would offer them a partial refund or perhaps um, just give them a full refund. I'm not sure what happened, but I just responded to their um, feedback. This wrote, I am so sorry this happened. I have sold a bunch of these with no issues. I bought them from a bridal store brand new. I sent you a message to please send me photos. Please always communicate with the seller before leaving negative feedback. I am happy to make this right. I have reached out to you on eBay messages. Thanks so much. I never heard a thing. So I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. To me, it's like if there's really an issue, you're going to open a return. It just seemed like undeserved negative feedback, but that is my other ne negative feedback. So I wanted to share that with you guys. All right. Um, let me know what you think. Have you tried um, getting your feedback removed with this technique or are you going to now? <gasps> It works. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.